Ladies and gentlemen, great anticipation stirs through the crowd. This is the race we've been waiting for. The $600 Dash for Cash Race of Champions. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen, all winners. And they're all together. We're going to have just one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to present this, the field, for the Race of Champions. Here is number one, Gene, the other, Brother Smothers. And the crowd roars. Number two, Johnny, gonna kill him, Gilliam. Whoa. And the crowd roars. Here is number three, Keith, the time bomb, Thomas. And there he is, the man from Elmwood Park himself. Melrose, rather, he just moved. Ron, the stallion, Salvino. And here is number five, just back from the Olympics, Luke Jumping Jubenko. And here is number six, who looks so proud to be standing next to number five, John the Juice Jeriga. And here is number seven, Anthony Smokum. Smothers and the crowd roars. And here is no, here is number eight, Warda, Nimblefoot, Nana. They're in the crowd roars. And here is number nine, Melvin, the Flash, Upshaw, and the crowd roars. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the field for the race of champions. And ladies and gentlemen, the field of humans are on the track. They're going to race for a purse of $600. All winners from previous weeks, they're all assembled tonight. We will have one. Just one champion. They're nearing the pause. The humans are assembling behind the starting gate, waiting for number two. Johnny going to kill him. Gilliam is awfully slow behind the gate. Our racing fans, pick yourself a winner, because they're all winners. As the starter calls for the humans. It looks like a good start. They have all have their shoes on. Here they come. And they're off. Here comes Gene, the other brother, Smothers on the inside. But Johnny going to kill him. Gilliam driving between humans on the outside now with a rush. Here comes Melvin, the flash. It is Melvin. Could it be Melvin? It is Melvin Upshaw. Oh, there is a human down on the track. There is a human down, but he just bounced right up. Ladies and gentlemen, could we have an inquiry? Could we have a photo? Please hold all imaginary tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to look at that one again. Look at it on the outside. We will have a result for you, ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment. The stewards have informed us to look at this again. On the outside. Look at that number nine. He, a whole crash right in there. Just crashes right on through. And there's five of them at the wire. We will have an official finish in just a moment. While we wait for the result, ladies and gentlemen, of the race of champions, we'll remind you that horses have left the paddock for the 10th race. There's four minutes to pause, just four minutes. Um, 
Here we are down in the winter circle with Melvin Upshaw, the winner of our human race. Melvin, when did you know you had this race won? Ever since I knew I was going to be in the finals. How about that for confidence, huh? Well, anyway, you ran a good race, and everybody was glad to see you run such a nice race. Come back next year, okay? Okay, I'll be glad to. Thanks, Melvin. Thanks, Tony. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Earl Williams, the director of special events. And we crowned a champion, Mr. Melvin Upshaw.